Donald and Melania slip out of the White House for a low-key dinner with Vice President Pence and his wife Karen. After another busy day in Washington on Tuesday, the President and First Lady slipped out for a low-key dinner at the home of Vice President Mike Pence and his wife Karen. The Trumps slipped out of the White House quickly and quietly, ducking into a waiting motorcade which drove them the 3.1 miles to the Naval Observatory. First Lady Melania was typically stylish in a black lace cocktail dress and black leather pointed pumps. She wore a pair of large black sunglasses as she made her way through the evening heat and into the waiting car behind her husband. Donald seemed eager to get into the cool air-conditioned vehicle, barely stopping as he made his way to his seat. He had spent the day hosting Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko with Vice President Pence and posed for a photo op inside the Oval Office in the early afternoon. The day's talk was focused on North Korea after the sad news on Monday night that Otto Warmbier, an American student who was held captive by there for 17 months, had died after returning to U.S. soil in a coma. Both Trump and Pence have spoke out against Kim Jong-un on Monday and repeated their anger with his regime on Tuesday. Otto was arrested during a trip to North Korea in January 2016 for allegedly stealing a propaganda poster from a hotel. After dinner on Tuesday night, talk turned to a cheerier subject, the Republicans' victory in special elections across the country. On Twitter, Trump and Pence both congratulated Karen Handel on her win in the Georgia House special election. Congratulations to Karen Handel on her big win in Georgia 6th. Fantastic job, we are all very proud of you," said the president. Ralph Norman won the same race in South Carolina, prompting more victorious tweets from Trump and Pence. Ralph Norman ran a fantastic race to win in the great state of South Carolina's 5th district. We are all honored by your success tonight," he said. He then used the opportunity to thank Fox News for its coverage of his huge win and said, Well, the special elections are over and those that want to make America great again are five and oh. All the fake news, all the money spent equals zero, zero. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my STC News channel. Goodbye and see you again.